North Korea said it scrambled warplanes to ward off a U.S. spy plane in its exclusive economic zone after raising the possibility of shocking consequences if the incursions persist. Kim Yo-jong, the powerful sister of leader Kim Jong-un, said early on Tuesday in a statement carried by the Korean Central News Agency that the U.S. aircraft retreated when the North Korean Air Force sent up a sortie of planes. The intrusion into the DPRK's 200 nautical mile economic water zone by the reconnaissance asset of the hostile country is clearly a grave encroachment upon the sovereignty and security of the DPRK. Kim said, referring to North Korea by its formal name. A shocking incident would occur in the long run in the 20 to 40 section in which the U.S. spy planes habitually intrude into the sky above the economic water zone of North Korea, she added. Her comments came hours after Pyongyang claimed U.S. drones and spy planes flew for eight straight days along its coasts, with aircraft repeatedly violating its airspace. North Korea's defense ministry accused the U.S. of flying a strategic reconnaissance plane into its inviolable airspace several times and warned that approaching aircraft might be shot down. While the defense ministry statement seemed to imply an intrusion into North Korean territorial airspace, Kim Yo-jong accused the U.S. of conducting aerial surveillance over the North's exclusive economic zone, the area within 200 nautical miles of its territory, where it controls rights to natural resources. South Korea's military disputed those accusations, saying the aerial reconnaissance aircraft did not violate North Korean airspace. It said Pyongyang had willfully stirred tensions by launching threats over normal flight activities over international waters. It urged the North to immediately cease such actions. A spokesman for Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff added that South Korean and U.S. personnel are maintaining a readiness posture. Kim Yo-jong also criticized South Korea for defending the U.S. activities, using an abbreviation of the country's official name. As regards the provocation by the U.S. forces, the military of the ROK again impudently took the lead in denying the encroachment on the DPRK's sovereignty while shamelessly asserting that it was a normal flight. The latest flare-up in tensions on the peninsula came as NATO leaders prepare to gather in Lithuania for their annual summit. The leaders of Japan, South Korea, Australia, and New Zealand will also attend in a bid to bolster awareness of security threats in the Asia-Pacific. Speaking at a forum in Seoul on Monday, John Wiedner, Chief of Staff at U.S. Forces Korea, reaffirmed Washington's commitment to enhancing the regular visibility of powerful military assets in South Korea, referring to the upcoming visit of a U.S. nuclear ballistic missile submarine, Yonhap reported. The U.S. will enhance regular visibility of strategic assets to the Korean Peninsula, as evidenced by the upcoming visit of a U.S. nuclear ballistic missile submarine to the ROK. Wiedner said, referring to South Korea by its formal name. In her statement early on, Kim Yo-jong reasserted that intensifying U.S. reconnaissance activities were encroaching on the North's sovereignty and that U.S. forces would experience a very critical flight if they continue with their illegal intrusions. Earlier this year, tensions on the Korean peninsula rose sharply as the pace of North Korean weapon tests and U.S.-South Korea joint military exercises have intensified. North Korea has test-fired nearly 100 missiles since the start of 2022 as Kim Jong-un expands a nuclear arsenal he apparently sees as his strongest guarantee of survival.